Hi, I'm Josh. I'm a PhD student at the University of Liverpool and I've extended the Gini reactivation function to the multi-class case. Real-world data is invariably unbalanced, with one class often outweighing the other. Often, there is a huge level of imbalance. Training on this data can lead to overfitting on the dominant class, with the smaller class being overlooked. Most methods to overcome this problem either resample the data, which can lead to overfitting, or target the loss function. Last year, we proposed a method which targets the activation function. Rather than accounting for the long tail distribution from the output using the loss function, we accounted for the distribution in the actual model by replacing the activation function with a more suitable distribution. We used the generalized extreme value distribution. The Gini value distribution is widely used in finance and meteorology to model extreme events such as market crashes and extreme weather. We proposed using the Gini V as an activation function as a direct replacement for the sigmoid activation and showed much improved results. The previous work showed that when data is balanced, there is no significant difference in the results between sigmoid and Gini V. But for unbalanced data, the Gini V gave much improved results. However, this method was only available in binary classification problems. Many classification problems with unbalanced data are multi-class, so we aimed to extend the previous GV activation to the multi-class case. We begin by fitting the GV distribution to each class separately. Then a probability is produced for each. However, this is not a true probability, as they do not sum to 1. Similar to softmax, we rescale the values so that they do sum to 1 creating a true probability. We found that the NGV could be prone to the vanishing gradient problem, similar to softmax. So we added L1 and L2 regularization and clicked input values to deal with this. We have made code available to implement the activation at the link shown. This produces a method which is very easy to implement requiring just a simple replacement of the final activation layer with our proposed layer. As our method changes the activation function only, other methods such as resampling and focal loss could be used in conjunction with our method. This may produce even better results. To test our method, we revisited the data used in the original GV activation paper. In the binary classification, we originally used healthy and pneumonia versus COVID-19. Here, we are able to further split the classification into a multi-class problem. Although COVID-19 is certainly not a rare condition, data is often difficult to find, and the number of available cases compared to pneumonia and healthy is relatively small. In this data set, we only had 129 total COVID-19 cases and we wanted to reserve 100 to test the method sufficiently. This gave us 20 images in the final training set, compared to 2,718 images for pneumonia. Some very brief results show that, as expected, for the softmax activation, the recall for pneumonia was high, while the other classes were lower. Our method showed some much improved and more balanced results. This suggests that the MGEV is better suited to unbalanced data than the previously used softmax activation. Here, we have extended the GEV activation function to the multi-class case. The MGEV is simple to implement, just replacing the softmax activation. On a set of highly unbalanced data, we found improved results over the softmax activation. The method can easily be combined with loss function methods. This is only preliminary work. The point of unbalance at which the MGV provides better performance is not yet fully understood. And the effect of the proposed activation function on other data and other metrics, such as calibration, has also not yet been assessed. I would like to thank my supervisors and my funders.